rather so. <laughs> There was one in oh, there. Just very, very simple. Right. And that is, they pay attention to people who have theories. That's all. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> How so? What, what should they be doing instead? They should be listening to people. They don't know how to yeah, listen to people. Why is it that so many people can't learn philosophical midwifery and dream analysis? It's the same problem. Listening? Yes. They put in their theories, they put in what they think, and they're all fucked up. You know why? The truth is in the words. You have to get to the words. You have to get to the logos. Nobody in politics has the good sense to listen to people and to find out what they think. That's all. <laughs> if they did that, they'd understand it. They don't. They pay professors. Right? They give big, big grants to people with think tanks and things of that nature. But they don't know how to do it. That's all. So, uh, they use their theories of psychology, sociology, and all that bullshit, and therefore they're not listening to people. This is for Gavinovsky, Drovidovich, Flapdorsky, McGee. Oh, good. Cool. Okay. Yes. I'll pass it on to him. Okay. It's the two things, the, the wooden sundial that you assemble yeah. and the proportion thing. Oh. And he uses... So they're, they're misinterpreting. So they're misinterpreting on a global mass scale. On a mass scale. <laughs> Why is it that people that we know on Friday nights continuously misunderstand dreams? Same thing. It's not any different. It's not any different. Why did I make? Why was I so successful? And motivation research, as Bill Gilbert discovered when he took my study back to AT&T that I did. Hey, look here. I competed at the University of Chicago and everyone else okay, in midwives, uh, uh, pardon me, in uh, motivation studies. You know my office? It's a phone booth. <laughs> you, know, you know who would answer my phone? Raymond. <laughs> Raymond. Son. My son, five years old, get on the phone and talk to the vice president of the Oh, yeah, yeah. They thought they had the wrong number. Thank you. Did you guys I didn't have an office. How come they, how come they finally wanted to? Why did Bill Gilbert, when he went to Las Vegas and delivered my AT&T study, and Bill Gilbert said, hey, what do you think of Pierre Grant? He said he's the best goddamn person researcher in the United States. Why? I listen to people. That's all. That's all. You don't listen to people? You don't listen to the text? You don't you don't understand it. Why do we go why do I always go in every dream to the states of mind? That's a fancy way of talking about that's when people are really saying what they think. When? State of mind? Yeah. Oh. You have to respect what people feel and think. Mm. And stay with it, with all the difficulties that emerge from it. And understand, then try to understand that. He used to say often that when people say, I feel, they're really telling you what they think. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Always. Yeah. Because people don't think what they think. <laughs> That's what they've been taught. I, yeah, there we go. Interesting. So you're saying then that the Democrat Party didn't listen? No, no, no. Democrat or Republican doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Do we want to move it closer? Okay, I was just trying to get it. No, no. 
No, it doesn't make any difference. Get it more specific. I could go. I could go down, and and what they call a study. You know, a study is bullshit. That's a fancy word for trying to go out and discovering what people really think. But people don't know how to understand how people think. Because they have to separate what they think from what they feel. Because what they feel is really what they think. What they think is what they've been taught. What they've been taught is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible that people are still teaching the thinkers who have been discredited by every single study. Gina, did you get a phone call from Phil? Is that true? Is there a message? Freud, hey, up on your phone? has every part of uh, Freud been rejected by research? To come here today. Phil from the ministry. Well, no, I'm distracted. I'm sorry. I was trying to make Can Phil. Which phone? The cell? The cell. No? Sorry, Pierre. Was our, your, the guy, Phil, he had emailed me last night that he wanted to come and asked me for the address, and I said, well, Gina has requested that I don't give the address, but rather the phone number, so I gave him her phone number. But, at least the one I've always nope. used to call you. You didn't call her. How about an Has every single thing Freud wrote been rejected by research? Just in case. Let me see. Has everything been rejected by research? Yeah, as everything Hold Floyd, it. he said it loud. Hold it, see. No. I now have to understand her, right? I said something, she repeats it, and, and the style in which she repeats it is that she doesn't understand it. The look on her face is puzzled. Okay, what am I going to do? I hope you're going to listen to what she's saying. Mm. Same thing. Mm. What are you going to do? Hmm. Repeat it? Waste of time. Well, I was still distracted. There was still conversation going on. Doesn't matter. But the answer is no, it hasn't. It, what does that mean, it hasn't? It hasn't been... Verified. ...shown wrong by research. On the contrary, you don't know it. Everything that Freud said has been <coughs> rejected. Okay. That's everything that... Jung <coughs> said been rejected by research. I don't know. I don't think so. Absolutely. Okay. I didn't know so many people were interested in either of them to actually take mm -hmm. on. Any are, are they not movies? journals and books by the thousands? How about? Have they not people done? By the way. Is it true or is it not true that follow-up studies where they use these kinds of theories have not demonstrated the truth of the theories in terms of the consequences on the individuals that are being treated? Yeah. What, what more do you need? What more do you need than to come to the conclusion? That is, that research is showing that, that those theories can be rejected. In philosophy, every single European philosopher has been shown in principle by reflection of other studies to be at fault. They still teach them. Every single one of them. Why do, why, why do we teach bullshit? Why do we teach things that everybody has come to the conclusion are incorrect? Because nobody has an alternative to teach. They do so. What would that be? Listen to people. Okay. It's just like a religion. So students are going to pay for college so they can be listened to? You want to know the truth? That's the truth. Well, I would agree with you, but I don't think the <laughs> administration or the state would contract to that. Uh, have you ever seen my study on uh, why students fail in junior college? Yeah. What do you think of that? The odds are that, that you haven't studied it. Well, I haven't studied it. Huh? 
I haven't studied it either, but I, I think I've heard you speak about it. No, that's okay. Nobody ever studies the kinds of things that people have written when they come around to study them. Hmm. It's no, inevitable. Don't worry about it. So let's start studying that on Friday nights instead of... The question is, why happened to Okay, let me go back to the issue. Same issue. See, it's the same thing I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Why was I hired as a researcher in New York and gained the status of being the best researcher going? I never used a theory. I never paid attention to any authority. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went around and devised a way of talking with people to discover what they really think. Cool. I even got studies from major research firms where the client would pay me to make a study of their data. Hmm. They thought my way of understanding unique. No. I said to them, why don't you guys listen? Well, they were listening to something to hire you. Uh, what, what? what does it take? Like, uh, well, do you tell me what does it take to deal with a dream? What does it take? So I'll ask nine. What is it? well, what's the difference between the way I approach things and the way you study, you give comments on dreams? What do you do? Well, if I had to really simplify it, I would say you're more... Forget me. What do you do? I'm less still. No, no. Bullshit. <laughs> still what? has nothing to do with it. Go ahead. What do you still. do? No, no. Still. What do you do? Well... What uh, did you do? What do you do? It's like I can't help but uh, bring some old way of looking or understanding into the... And therefore, it's always wrong. That never goes anywhere. <clears throat> because, like, there's this baggage that distorts. Most, nearly everybody does the same thing. They, they're going to use what they have come to to understand something out there. That's in principle. That's in principle false. Whenever you use what you've already understood to understand what's going on, you're, you are operating on pure luck. <laughs> it, may, it may work, but it should come to you as a great surprise. The data is there, the person is there, you have, the text is there, you have to understand that. What you think is bullshit, it makes no significance, it is totally irrelevant. Until you can look at it purely, without anything else, just what it is, keep yourself the hell out of it. Then you can, see, then you can learn to see what's there. You put in there what you've already thought, you're just playing games. That's what everybody does. You know what's going on? I, no researcher that I have seen on any study I have done on politics in this election <clears throat> has ever <coughs> has ever gone to the rural countries, hmm. counties where the bulk of tropes voters are to discover what they think, why mm. they think. If they did that, they'd understand it. And maybe they could have won the election, you know, because they would have known what they were dealing with. Well, you see, no, no. <clears throat> no? No, and I'll tell you what. Even if they have the data, they may not want to work on it. Mm. Interesting, because... Because they may have some other interests which they recognize uh, as higher. Uh, uh. Big Pharma. Mm. 
I did a major study. Hi, Ever Moore. I, I did a major study on golf balls. <laughs> vice president, vice president of U.S. Rubber in New York City. So he calls me up, and he says, "We want to do a study on golf balls." I'll tell you what he says. Our ballers, we make this golf ball. Our competitors buy our balls and put their name on it, and they make a hell of a lot more money. What's going on? <laughs> He said, as far as I'm concerned, it's irrational. People are fundamentally irrational. They, we, we try to get the right ads. It doesn't work. I said, okay, I'll do it for you. And so I gave him an outline of what I was going to do. He said, sounds good. He said, let's go shoot some, uh, let's play some golf. I said, I, I've never hit a golf ball in my life. He looks up and he says, I'm going to give you a contract to go out and study golf balls and golf players and you've never shot a, you've never hit a, I said, sir, I just did a study for personal products on women's personal products and I've never used a, a, a Kotex and uh, by the way, we made a breakthrough study and we changed the way they advertise Kotex and I've never won one in my life. He said, you got, he said, you got the study. <laughs> did the study I made the study so how, you know what I told him I said you know the reason you have a problem you don't talk to your uh, uh, your salesmen that deal with the public you don't deal with the uh, coaches in the country clubs that sell golf balls that's why you have a problem I said watch I made a study, you know, when people, like, you know, golf is part of, uh, very difficult, you know, like luck plays a hell of a role in it, and uh, people have to spend their lives mastering strokes and everything. And that ball now, that's the only thing they have to hit, see? <laughs> and their mind is focusing on it, and they're looking there, and it says on it, rubber. Yeah. You us us rubber. They think of uh, rubbers. They think of galoshes. They think of everything practical. Why do you have to put U.S. rubber on your golf balls? You have U.S. rubber, royal, royal rubber. <laughs> Funny. Like he could have put champion or yeah. top flight or yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he looks at me and he says, yeah. he says, you know, oh, I never played, but I he know says, you know, you're right, but you know what? I'm not going to change it. I spent my life for U.S. Rebels. I like the name. <laughs> I don't care if we don't make as much money now, any, now that I know what's going on. Not funny. Hmm. So just because you can lay out a reality, it doesn't mean, mm. that, it doesn't mean that the people who are in charge of it are going to act upon it. Mm -hmm. Yep. I could multiply that with five other stories, same thing. Mm. Well, I found it interesting that when, when you were exploring Alex's dream, Good. you asked me to answer, and I focused on the role of the expert in his dream, but you went to him at talking with the doctor in the first place who wasn't supposed to be his doctor, wasn't the right authority. Yes, but I pointed out that these dreams are a different class of dream. Parts a whole, you said. Yeah. Well, that is, you have to see the drama as a whole uh -huh. hmm. and see what's going on as a whole. As if, as I often say, you have to look at it like a, a Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. Like, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What do you see going on? You can see the whole if you were right there, what would you be saying is going on? Uh. Well, there's proof that the guy's got a doctor, he's talking to a doctor, he's not his doctor, and he's taking the advice of a doctor that's not a doctor. <laughs> yeah, right? that's right. Then we could go for states of mind, but that would see that's the principle. Uh. 
find the drama that right there. That was the there. doorway into the problem, right? Yeah, don't, yeah, it, it's there. And it, by the way, how often is it in the first two sentences? Yeah. Dream oh, my last name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be Way up there. I'm going to be adjusting how I look at dreams now. First two sentences. <laughs> well, not, and I hope with it, the spirit I'm talking about. Yes, yes. I hope so, too. Well, we've got plenty of dreams here to practice on today. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But, so with politics, it's the same problem. All of these people are hiring... You know, I sat in, in meetings with that tables, this big, see, all around us here. Beautiful tables. Nothing but PhDs sitting around the circle. And they're spending all of their intellect and their genius and their studies on a commercial. <laughs> That's their life, they're going to study on commercial. I, I, I went to, I got called in walked out of a meeting I had where I did I walked by this one and they said, hey Pierre, come on we'd like to show you this I knew it was a freebie so I said, yeah, okay guys, I know what's going on it was Hunt Foods commercial all of these guys have all their theories about what's going on in this commercial because there's a big issue going on there's a division in the group. See, one group says it's communicating this, another group is saying it's communicating that. They can't come to an agreement. So I just put it aside. So let me see it. It's ketchup coming out. Plump, 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 plump. I remember that. Yeah. But, <laughs> and, <clears throat> the guy said, uh, what do you think is going on? I said, I don't know. What are you going to do with it? He said, well, we're going to make 10,000 copies of it. We're going to distribute to all our dealers because it's a great song and it's going out throughout. And the, and the uh, songwriter is furious. I said, what's the issue? He said, well, that has a great beat that's not in the music. I said, that's right. He's right. It'll fail. Therefore, the theories that were going on and how to interpret this ad was all bullshit. Mm. Mm. The plop wasn't along with the music. <laughs> right. It was all about the plop. Hey, they did what they were thinking, they're coming out of their heads, coming out of theories. <laughs> I said, hey, there it is, sir. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't, that's a great beat. That's what's making the music. Thank goodness I asked at that time, what are you going to use it for? Mm -hmm. Find out what's, how it's going to function. So I got a nice check for a freebie. All right. So what happened? Did it succeed? I don't I remember. I remember. They, they put the plop in. Yeah, I remember. I, yeah. I, into the music, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I never they put the plop in. I, I never follow up with this stuff. <coughs> So what's your point with that example? They're not listening. That's right. You weren't, if you asked them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're not listening to what? From, from the beginning, he was saying, right, that people have theories, and they, they, they approach issues from their theories rather than listening to people. So this was an example. Ketchup bottle going blah, blah, blah. Well, it's a, it's a very... But he mentioned that there were <coughs> theories about which commercial would be better, which version would be better around the table, that the theories were in conflict. That was part of the setup of the story, oh. right? So. And the music didn't go along with the plot. plot, plot. Okay. There's an issue on the table. She doesn't understand something. Mm. So she says, mm. you're offering your solutions. Mm. By the way, do you know whether she accepted them? Do you know whether she uh, understood it, why she was puzzled by it? No. Mm. Wasting your time. Mm. But it, I'm polite. I don't say anything. 
<laughs> Good on me. I never say a thing. So what, is so what do you say? Understand? What don't you understand? Or, or yeah, you're a human being. What is it you're, you're having trouble with? That's what. That's that's a that question assumes assumes a lot, and it's a very difficult question to ask because what you're saying to the person is what are what at what point is your knowledge deficient? That's right. And that's right. That's a chat. That's that's a, that's a put down. I don't know. Yeah, She's lacking a connection. I yeah. mean, that's why that question. That's right. Did. But so therefore, you have to do it in a, in a rather stupid, right, steaming way, such well, as, such as. Excuse me. What did you say? <laughs> uh, could you repeat okay. another word? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Put that on other words. Feelings come up. Yeah, because it's, it's a human. See, it's a human drama. Because everybody, everybody believes they understand. The truth is, nobody understands. Mm. That's the truth. Nobody mm. understands until they take the effort to go through to understand whatever it is they want to understand. Mm. But isn't that what she was doing? Was to try and pre was to present what she present that she didn't under want to hear, didn't understand. So it's not a so to ask her where her block is was, would be one thing. But for her to come out and say that she didn't understand, isn't that a recognition that, hey, I'm missing something and therefore I've acknowledged what I don't understand? I don't know. Uh, would you repeat? I didn't get what she said. What did she say? Julie, what, what did she say? I missed it. Well, she just said forget it anyway. Well, uh, hey, oh, excuse me. I, f I forgot what what Regina said. What did she say? Regina said that Julia's trying to understand, and um, I'm just getting the gist that I got from what Regina said was that she's trying to understand. Uh, so to ask her what she said or what she doesn't know is like undercutting that process. Is that uh, is that inconsistent with what, what you were saying, Gina? Hold it. No, no. Elder, what did she say? I'm guilty of not listening. I thought she looked cute. But Actually, I, I had trouble because I couldn't see a distinction between the two of them. And I was struggling to see a distinction between the two alternatives she gave, mm. and I couldn't mm. keep them. I really didn't. I was listening, but I didn't follow. Mm. I have mm. Also, yeah, I, I was stuck on the fact that the first thing Julie said to you was what happened, what ended up happening. And I didn't see how what Gina was saying jived with that question. Yeah. Like wanting to, like you said, I don't follow up on those kinds of things. But her question that we're yeah, talking about now is... Then there was a question that followed that, yeah. Dealing with what you said, yeah. that she wasn't listening and... Right. Right? That the whole issue was not listening. Right, right. So then Regina was addressing that part? Well, then I thought you set out what... Um, <clears throat> The point of the exercise was what the point of what Pierre's story was, uh -huh. and um, she didn't see that that description matched what she had just heard about the plot, plot, plot. I thought that's where. Hey, so did you know that there was a car sitting outside your car and the motor was running? No. Can I go? I'll go check again. Hold on. I just made, actually he came in. He hey, you're in. probably right. I left my keys in there. The ah. was, uh, I was just <clears throat> I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I saw him coming. Thank you. <laughs> so we, you so and we I, I thought <clears throat> both tried to deal with what we thought was her lack of understanding, but we didn't really know if we hit the mark, right? I thought you and I both tried to deal with her lack of understanding, or whatever it is, because we don't know. And Pierre pointed out, we don't really know what she was hanging up on, which is... Then he suggested that unless we asked, we weren't going to be able to. That's not dealing 
we won't understand her unless we ask her, right? I thought Nancy was here. And Thank you very there. much. I appreciate it. I thought Nancy was here, and then you yeah. sat in that chair, and I realized it all came together. So that's why Gina jumped in, I think. So let's do some drinks. Same thing. Who's first? <laughs> I'm right. There's like six oh, I brought them. one. Yeah, there's a bunch. Gina goes first. She's, she's our hostess. She goes first. I have three. <laughs> Gina goes first. As, as a courtesy to our hostess, or because I'm weird, and I think there should be a courtesy to our hostess. Oh, I got one. Of course. Sort of I agree. I was at yeah. a house that I got one. Thank you. Thank you. That is, oh, oh, you got, you passing green house? Well, I know this is just, you know, oh. uh, she looks so fully in that chair with the, the, the okay. coaching of abalone out of the chair. Thank you. You already have it. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Is this L.A. or is this L.A.? Oh my fucking God. She's been on the plane. But you know when you're on a 12 hour flight, you get off and you take a shuttle. You hardly notice because you're so tired. But you were a good guy. I made a it before. picture of yesterday's or of the Parmenides talk that you from the last Parmenides on no, remember no. you were gonna make the picture of it? No, I I thought I would make it today so we didn't okay, meet yesterday. Haven't. No I okay. haven't would have been easier to do it at the beginning because we were just hanging out. But that's my part. Oh yeah. Good. <coughs> okay, Egg Eggmar, go ahead. Gina. Oh, Gina. How oh, I think he's going to do Gina's. Oh. oh.
we doing? Is Ingmar doing Yeah, Ingmar's going to make first comment. <coughs> mm. Oh, we're going to make comment. I'd say, is the dream a failure or a success? <clears throat> no. Okay. Mm. Truly. Yeah, where is it? There's no reason for her to be very upset. It doesn't seem like there's any reason for her to be very upset. Because, or well, how would you approach this then? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah I, okay. Look, there are two parts to the. You can go either for the whole of the part. The part is the individual states of mind, quite correct. Right? Take it as a whole. What do you see as that? Look, same thing as last night. Three talks, same thing. If you look at it as a whole, what's the problem? <clears throat> then go to states of mind. Hmm. Yeah. What would you say is the problem in the story? Um, I know there's, there's a lot of getting upset. Huh? There's a lot of getting upset. So what? Not answering the question. The thought that there's a problem where there isn't a problem? I don't know. You tell me. Well, that's what I was saying. How would you do it? How would you approach it? How would you approach it? Mm. Well, you were asking about the whole. Yeah. And so uh, that's what I was offering as the whole. That's that, true, by the way. Go ahead. Okay, but no, I, I don't, let me think about that question now. Hmm. I'll skip that question and go for the <coughs> state of mind. What state of mind would you go for that's discussed in the dream? Mm. Uh, I'd ask uh, what it was like to realize that the person let the cat, the cat out. But that's good. That's one. That's one there. That's one. The very upset. Uh, what sentence would you focus on for that? The third, fourth sentence. I had a third cat. This person let the cat outside, and I was very upset. That's true. Is there any other state of mind in that? I'm sorry, any other state of mind in yeah. the sentence? So look at there's more than one state of mind in there. Mm hmm Uh, someone had left the door open. Could you write a little bigger? Could you write a little bigger? Yeah, th th I can't work with these. Mm. You need the, the big... Yeah, uh, I, I need the, the, yeah. the, the larger markers. Uh, we don't have them. We don't okay. have them. Oh, you're, you're kind of... Okay. Hmm. How about the problem? There's also the problem of perceiving somebody as being indifferent to. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Mark. There's, sure. there's, there's several places where she notices that someone's indifferent. No, 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 stay with what you just said. There's also the problem of, of indifference. That's right. In my car. What do you see in that? Good. Uh, hmm. That. Well, there's 
certainly a, a disconnect between what she wants and, and what she would expect from other people. That's right. Mm. Now, how can you Good. use that? You got it. Go ahead. Um, um, at this point, I'd have to ask Gina, um, what does it mean to be indifferent to... Well, to remember, I think that judgment is that she's making a judgment about the person. Yeah. You yeah. the last line. I was wondering about that. Who's indifferent? Yeah. The guy who left the cat Huh? Yeah. It was the person? <clears throat> okay, then let's go for what, what was said here. Look here. I was very upset. Okay, I was very upset. Okay? You said a state of mind for that. Okay, let us say we have it. Okay? And it's worthwhile getting. Okay. All right? <clears throat> what is the significance of that in terms of the last two sentences? <clears throat> I got the count in, in, and I thought the guy is not welcome, just indifferent. Okay? Notice the language. I got the cat in. Right? Mm -hmm. And I thought the guy is indifferent. The guy's not welcome. And I thought the guy is not welcome. There it is. There it is. Look at Stay on this. What does that say? See it. What does that say? <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, ma'am. As a human drama, what does that say? I, I, I did something. I like to cut. And what's the response in the dream? There was a success. Pardon? There was a success, and then it was followed by by a, neg by a negative state. Right? <clears throat> That's good. Okay, play with this for a moment. Come on now. She, in the dream, she did something, right? Mm -hmm. And this is your response to what she did. Did she think she was doing something good? Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. And what is her concern? Something she loves? No, no. In the, in, uh, here. Her concern, the her concern is the man. Oh, the, concern. the man. Her yeah. concern. The man who... Is? The man. Not is well. what? That he is indifferent. Well. Thank you. Oh. Right? <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. Would you... Hey, you're going to get a state of mind for that. What did that show you? <clears throat> the problem for her. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, look here. Try it again. Okay. In principle, what is this showing in the dream? What about uh, right about this? Now remember, it's not Jane. It's the dream. Mm -hmm. The hell with the dream. Mm -hmm. This person did something good, mm -hmm. and then. This is the reaction she gets for it. Right? Especially that last line. And how does she judge it? I thought this guy's not welcome, but indifferent. <sighs> Question. Okay, now I go to the dream. Say, what was it like at that moment in the dream when you went through all that effort and... Uh, the guy was indifferent. What did it do to you in the dream? Indifferent to what I did? Uh, that wasn't what he was indifferent to. He was indifferent Pardon? before. 
in the dream, what was it like at this moment in the dream when you saw, as a result of what you've done, that he was indifferent? No, I'm correcting it. He's, he wasn't indifferent to what I did. He was indifferent by letting, because the cat bothered him and let him out. And that's what upset me. So actually, it, it was it, it shouldn't be there. It, it's just that it should be up further. This person let the cat outside. It was bothering him. He was just indifferent. What is it like when you saw in the dream that he was indifferent? Oh, uh, any place. Uh, it 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 angered me. I didn't like it. More. It meant that he was. Uh, Everything around him was irrelevant. The cat was not there. I wasn't there. Nobody was around. It's just his concern. That made you fresh. What did it do to you? I was angry. Right, got that state and of mind. And he was also dangerous because of that. No. <clears throat> Now you look at this in terms of the whole. All right, now become an expert on the first two lines. Here, she said everything around him was irrelevant, not indifferent. And dangerous. She's adding irrelevant. She's adding not to be indifferent. Thank you. And she also <clears throat> said she, the cat wasn't there. She wasn't there was the result of that state. Those were the two sentences. What, what, and what is meant by indifference? Okay. Uh, give me this. What's going on in the first two sentences? Um, I was actually on the third sentence. Let's stick with okay. the following sentence. What have you got? What do you see? Well, I might be off, but I was wondering uh, to, to be upset uh, at this person. There, there might, was there anything that uh, told this person? Or okay, it? someone else. First two sentences. Stay in the first two sentences. Yes, sir. Well, it sounds like. It's somebody else's house. What does that do? It changes it. It changes it for Why? me. For me. Why? Hmm. Oh. Why? That's right. What does that do? There's a certain kind of indefinite quality to her own in, experience. In, well, in person, it changes the responsibility of the the man. Right. Right. If it had been her house with her cats in it, then it would be appropriate. Then it would right. be appropriate. Therefore, what is it? It's someone else's house, someone mm -hmm. else's cat. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Her and state of mind is out of place. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to correct it. It was my house. Because I, I said that wrong. I was at a house that I had gone into. It, it was actually my house that people were at. So I, that was incorrect. Then how does that fit? Well, that... For some reason, I was going into hold this it. part of the house. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Because I said Hold that just I, for a moment. I don't know why. Well, is it your cat? Is it, is it your cat? They're all my cats, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure some of the language one. seems like it's a strange cat to you. No. Like, it was a very strong cat, like you just realized it. It for some reason, it seemed like it was my house, but it was like a different part of my house because I put the... No. It was like my house, but... I don't know. It was like my house, and they let the cat out. They opened the patio doors. That was a different dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was a different dream. Yeah. So what do you make of the fact that the dreamer gave you a, a dream that wasn't the dream? Yeah. Mm. That's a problem. <laughs> and, yeah. But still, it, what okay. kind of dream is it? Is it your house or not? Like, there's a puzzle there. 
Well, well this is what I took off of the transcript. This is what you took off of the transcript? This is what I took And that's the dream. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the dream. That's it. That's our rule. What you put down, that's the dream. Music group. Hmm. So back to where we are. Therefore, what are the implications in terms of the fact that it's someone else's house? Ah, yeah. there's it's an. I think the conclusion we reached was was an inappropriate feeling. Yeah. But getting upset over yes, something correct. that is yes. not her responsibility. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, he said that That's we have fine. to deal just with the transcript, you know? It's not That's her responsibility. But then also, moving on a little bit, she goes outside, and there's absolutely no issue with the fact that the cat's gone out there because he's ready to be picked up, and ready there, to be brought back in. And there's no distress. Now we go back internally. Yeah. In, terms of the, in terms of the dream, is there any danger outside? No. Not resisting. Not in the in terms of the dream. Oh, she just stay in the dream. There's no danger. Is there any reason to, to be so involved in terms of the drama of the dream? No. Therefore, add that to the story. Mm -hmm. Right. I was going to ask if the, the uh, this man had any idea that the cat shouldn't have been let out in the dream. If, if there was a feeling that you could it, knowing that you shouldn't have, or if you just made a mistake. Well, you see, what it says there, uh, now we go to this level, that see, but the guy, I would try this, but this guy, I was upset because he just let him out. Now you have to watch the language. Mm -hmm. But this guy, I presume, I was upset with. Uh oh, why don't we make sure? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Don't add to it till you confirm it. But this guy, what, Junior, you to put in a with? Uh, this person let the cat outside and I was upset with it. Uh -oh. yeah, no, no, we're down uh, third, third line from the bottom. Oh, but this guy. I was upset with. With. So with. you would add with. Yeah, because he just let him out. Okay. But if he just left him out and it's his cat, what is it that? It isn't his cat. How does that? It wasn't his cat. It was my cat. Pardon me. In terms of the dream, are you after your cat or his cat? My cat. The explanation of the cat that was kind of non-definite, right? It looked like psych, but felt like isos. It said, I had a ca third cat. In On the end oh, okay. of the first line, it said, I had a third yeah. cat. <clears throat> is, that like, is that, are you saying, um, unlike in the real world, I had a third cat? Yeah. It's a new cat. See, look here, see, yeah, there's something curious going on, see, see whether you can pick it up. <clears throat> Ios and Sebastian were there, I was concerned about whether they would get along with the cat. Hmm. What does that suggest? That it's not the common situation. That it's not her, her cat? Yeah. No, it is my cat. Pardon me, I'm just saying with, saying with the words. I have a third cat. Pardon me, that's not the part I'm with. Oh, okay. What does it mean to say, I was concerned about whether they would get along with... This third cat. That they, that but it's it not was, familiar to her. That, it's, that the situation is not familiar. That to therefore... Her. It's a new cat. Huh? It's a new cat. It's a different cat. It's not okay. the one that... Hmm. See... Now we have to add more to the dream, don't we? Hmm. Right. That it is a new cat for her. It's her cat. It's new. The other two cats are alien to her. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. 
There's some it's, kind of alienation. It's the same somehow. kind of problem with the cat as it is with Jean, the two characters in the dream. Hmm. Whether or not they're going to, you know, some, I don't know. It just yeah. seems a mirror kind of image. Yeah. How so? Whether or not they're going to get, <clears throat> whether or not they're going to be. So now you go back to this issue. Are you going to stay with what is written minutes. and deal with what's written, or do you have to add to it? <clears throat> then you have a different dream. But the principle is, whatever is written there, you stay with that. So, what do we do with this cat issue? It's a new cat. I feel like, um, would it be a good time to ask Regina what was the concern about uh, putting the cat in with the other cats? No, no. With the new dream, the issue is her failure to deal with why the gentleman did what he did. She's not dealing with his indifference, it's her cat. Mm -hmm. She's not dealing with the issue, and she, instead of that, she's getting upset. That's a new dream. Mm. Interesting. Yep. That's a totally new dream. That's a new dream? What? Or that's a new dream than this? Than the language in this. Okay, then I don't understand. What We've been saying. going in one direction. Now he's saying we have to change a little and go in another direction. If, if it's now, if it is now in the dream, it's my cat. It's my house. Oh, well, that's different. It's my, it's my new cat. <clears throat> oh. Um. Right now that I'm, I'm rather than it being someone else's house. Right. Right. That yeah. was another dream. Well, was so who, what was the group? Yeah, that might not right. be now, you, you don't mind that, but then everything changes, and therefore, no. given this new dream, right. the issue is why didn't she deal with the gentleman yeah. who mm -hmm. did what he did in her house? It's all internal. She's yeah. upset. She's thinking about him. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. not acting. That, so that, That's what I was saying, is that did he know that he wasn't supposed to let the cat out? Mm -hmm. right. right. And I wonder about that group. Like, what kind of a group was it? Maybe they were allergic to cats or something. He had to let it out. So what? You're not in the dream. Well, yeah. But you're raising the point, well, since these other things may change the dream, maybe that would also change the dream. That's true. But I have one question, <clears throat> which is that second to the last line, because there she's very clear about having a thought. Um, but I got the cat in, and I thought... That guy is not welcome. And I wonder, what does that mean? That guy is not welcome. Well, now the she's, thoughts. now she, the same thing. She's not dealing with the guy no. who presumably let her cat out. She's not saying, hey, why did you let my cat out? Mm -hmm. No. She's what just are you saying doing in my house letting my cat out? Right. Instead of getting it's upset, she's upset. Or calling him indifferent. Why not engage him? Hey, what are you doing? My cat don't even realize it's my cat. Or just telling him, hey, my cats can't go out. Why do you think I had the door closed? Yeah, any of those yeah. things. It, you know, it, so therefore, the getting upset is. is, is uh, and also, remember the dream the other day about manager? She was in charge of managing a house or something? With a bicycle. With a bicycle? Mm -hmm. So here, you, you're coming into your house, there's a group. Somebody had already left the door open. So, like, if you're so concerned about the issue of the door being open, you're coming into the house already with the door open. So that means you, you're not watching. See, that's good reading. Yeah. See, now you're going back and looking at it fresh with this new way of understanding it. And now seeing other things now suddenly become important. Right. That's right. That's what it does. Yeah. Good for you. You're in the dream. Yeah. So if, if she's upset, and she's not dealing with being upset, is that a statement of the problem which now needs to be explored? Or is that what the dream is telling us, that she's when she gets upset, she's not dealing with... Well, yeah. Well, I don't know that yet, because we're still there. What Julie added is that, therefore, if we take it this way, she's not seeing that she may have been responsible for the whole thing. Absolutely. Yeah. 
and therefore why get so involved? It's your fault. You left it open. Mm. We're yeah. getting involved. Right. All yeah, that drama is irrelevant. Irrelevant, right? exactly. Yeah. We could say, grade yourself as a household manager. Right. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Now you say, now how are you doing in your house as a household manager? You left the door open, you let a guy in, etc. You let a group in. Well, yeah. Yeah. Now, how is this different? So now we can look back to the way we started. What's the difference between what we're doing now and what you guys did at first? Well, what I did at first, it's difficult, like, when you put me on the spot, I got, like, this fear that whatever I'm going to say, I'm going to get slammed for, and I'm not in the dream. I'm not. There's a lack of freedom, and uh, no, I feel yeah, like I'm so gonna. Hard. I feel like I'm gonna be stupid no matter what comes out of my mouth. So you're lucky. <laughs> you need a. AOS well, I mean, I just noticed that that's a difference. Okay. You know? No, no. Okay. Yeah. It's like. Um, What's the difference? It's like now we're building um, a real foundation for understanding the dream. How did you get it? Um, by looking at what's there. By reading, yeah, reading. But, and how, how important were these things? Hey, the door was left open. Now it's my house. Yeah. Everything changes, see? Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So now you have to say, which one is the dream? Right. Which, now, whichever one it is, these are the difficulties inherent in whatever, whichever way you take the dream. Oh, yeah. I mean, should kind we of ask? Cool. If, she could have another dream that would elucidate, right? Well, we haven't finished, I don't no, think. No, but no, no, no. So now we look at it fresh. Right? This is usually a good time to get the dream and to read, right? Read it out loud. We follow it carefully, right? Notice the first sentence. I was at a house that I had gone into. Mm -hmm. Not her house. No, nothing personal mm -hmm. about it. Right? Mm -hmm. So now that we've changed that, okay. Someone had left the door open. Wait a minute, it's her house. And she had gone into it. And at that moment, she's, in terms of this is the unfoldment in terms of time, mm -hmm. she knew that, mm -hmm. right? I had a third cat. Oh, that may be somehow it's curious at someone else's house and she's got a third cat. So that gives you a mystery. Ah. This person let the cat outside. I was very upset. A puzzle. Uh, now you have the choice of which which house you're in. Otherwise, you can't go any further. So you take both separately, mm. which is what we did finally. Mm. Right? Fortunately, the cat was outside, but it was not resisting when I came to pick it up. Very strong cat. Huh? The cat wasn't upset about being outside. Or about being picked up to go back in. Right. Wasn't and particularly see. interested in going back in. Mm -hmm. Huh, curious. curious. I felt like sight looked like I was. I picked it up and took it back to the patio. Hey, I saw Sebastian was there. I was concerned about whether they would get, get along with presumably the others. But they were fine. Oh, it looks like cats are fine whether they're in or out. Huh. But this guy, this guy I was upset with because he just let him out. The, so there's, that's competing issues, right? Yes. Yes. Hmm. What? She's, well, she's worried about... First, there was the guy and the cat being outside. That's two issues right there. And then whether or not the cats are going to get along is a third issue. Mm -hmm. Now they seem to be going along splendidly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that means since they're getting along splendidly, she can go back to the, 
she's upset with the guy. Yeah. Hmm. But also, this guy I was upset with because he just let let him out. Mm -hmm. but, but I presume just means in terms of the time. But but in terms of Four. in terms of the problem of the <laughs> cat being <laughs> out, mm -hmm. it it's seems she has no reason to be upset unless she feels like she has to deal with that guy. Well, uh, in terms of in terms of there's, there appears to be no drama, no danger outside. Sure. The cat is doing fine. You let your pick her up. Doesn't appear to be any threat. Yeah, and the cat's now inside and getting along with the other cats. It's all very harmonious. Yeah, that's right. But she's not. That's right. That's that's actually a, a theme. That's actually a theme in the dream because it's um, the cat was outside, but it was not resisting when I came to pick it up. Mm -hmm. So she thought there might be some yeah. resistance, but there wasn't. And then later, she was concerned whether they would get along, but they were fine. Mm -hmm. So once again, mm -hmm. there was okay. some expectation. Okay, let's do this. <coughs> let's do this now, okay? Let's put this one aside now and pick up yours. And we got okay, do the same thing. Question. Hold it. Just one last question, which is the just. Can we check whether that's time or yes. whether that's merely? That's right. Okay. That's that's right. That's well, right. Yeah, merely. merely. Without, yeah. regard. Without regard. Right. Right. Okay. Right. This there, is. So that that's that was the one from Friday night. The, okay. This is the new one. Yes, the new one. Okay. Everyone. No, we don't have it yet. Okay. Yeah. What? This is Friday night stream of yours or of Julie's? There's three dreams oh, that I had on Friday night of mine. Uh, looks like that one's Julie's. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just gave you one. Oh. You got one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> By the way, normally in dream work, would you not, we often then go to a state of mind and say, where did, what, why is that state of mind so controlling? What are the roots of it? Where does it go back? Yes. Right. right. Okay. By the way, before we dump it, on what state would you go back on? Question. Now you have two dreams. Remember, you have two alternatives. <laughs> so you have to decide on which of the dreams you're talking about. I would go. I would go back on that thought that the guy is not welcome. That's good. Upset. Very upset. I would go back on upset. I don't know if you can do that, but upset because. He just let him out. I don't know. Because that was, sounds like two states, so... Because, but the, he, because uh, he was indifferent. Because it was indifferent, yeah. yeah. I would look at... See, if you go back to the indifferent, then she's doing something courageous, and he's indifferent to her creative work, mm. right? That's one. That's one side of the dream. Mm. The other... now. Now it's her her house and her her cat. Then it's different, isn't it? Mm. Yes. So that would be a good thing to go back on one. Yeah. What what uh, comes at me is the expect the negative expectations yeah. for a lot of things uh, that actually are going uh, well, and, and that the, that leading to being upset. Okay, look, there's some times in a dream when there's more than one state of mind you might want to explore going, going back. So your answers are all good, mm. right? So you, 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 you describe each one of them and see if there's something similar to them all, right? Then you can collect them together or separate, mm. and that would be your, uh, an exploration. Also, it seems, it seems like for her to call him indifferent, I would say that may be a pathologos, because yes. he is acting on his feelings. Mm -hmm. He he let the cat out because it was bothering him. He, hold it, hold so she's it. calling that indifferent. No, you got it, but it went beyond it. Oh. If, if he was bothered by it, 
right? You might want to know in the dream, what was that like? Hmm. See, should she have done something to the cat if it was bothering him? Hmm. See, that opens up a... That question you raised is a good one, see? Mm -hmm. And that means you would have to listen to it and then get information more about it to well, see whether or not she should have interfered with uh, the cat in some way bothering him. It's the cat that's bothering him. Mm -hmm. Yes, and right. So, and also, isn't there an issue of uh, what's the goal? Like, w there's a group in the house... And she's chasing cats and you're absolutely upset right. Upset with the guy and that's right. What is the what's Wait a minute. no, that's absolutely right. That's a damn good question. Right. And Right. And you could only yeah, ask right. you only get that by asking the dreamer, right. Hey, by the way, what was the what, what was the since everything is shifting now to the drama of the cat, what the hell was the group for? Yeah, absolutely right. And if it was her house and if one of her guests is bothered by her cat she should address that yes. as a host. Yes. Either get rid of, you know, handle the, pull the cat away. Yeah. Or find out what's going on between the two of them. Yeah. Right. All of those. <laughs> all of those would require further exploration. That's right. And, right. Right. and also that uh, someone had left the door open, meaning that it was already open. Right. So it wasn't, and I came into this situation. Right, so I couldn't deal with the bothering. I could later, but at the time I had to deal with the cat. Oh, okay, so all that was happening before you, the door had been open. No, see, what was just offered by the dreamer is yeah. a change in the dream, another change. It right. is not someone, it just could have been left open. If it's someone, then you could get back into the dream and say, "What, you know, right. what was, what were you considering when you saw in the dream that someone, oh, it wasn't someone?" So you'd have to change that in the dream. Right, right, right. It wasn't someone. Because, but if guy. you stay with the dream, it suggests that someone is responsible for that. She didn't deal with that either. Right. Well, it's the same person, so. Or if it's the same person. No. Okay. Right. Okay, we have enough time to so go through. So what do you do with the fact that this is the content of the dream that I recorded? Because you said to be very specific to the dream on, in terms of transcribing. But when I think about what was going on, I recall certain elements, like the someone was the person, and that the house was my house. So oh, when you someone think? was the person? Yes. Who so left the, the door open? Is different than, you know, my getting back and making it more precise. But at the time I was recording it, I didn't see, record. There are two, it. two ways a person can in, add to a dream. To the actual statement of the, of the dream, and it doesn't change the dream in terms of the drama, or changes the dream so it changes the drama. Like this move. Yeah. That this change, hey, okay, someone really did leave it open and it was him. Yeah, it was him. Pardon me? It was him. I, I agree. If so, then that's another thing she should have dealt with in her own house. And did. so you can add to the things she didn't deal with right. in her own house, and the other one was she has a cat that's bothering her neighbors or her guests, etc. No, it was. That was. The door was left open. When I got there, that's what was left open. It's not a, it, you're right, it's not stated the way the dream, as I now remember it, when I transcribed it and recorded it. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's the difference. So either this is the dream or my recollection of what I remember. That's why I say you, you end up with two understandings of the dream. But either either way, she's not dealing with herself. Right. Or I'm not house. dealing with the person. Not dealing with the person with yeah. your concern, right? I agree. Yeah. No. no, and spending your time on the cat. Yeah. No. Okay. Not spending the time on the cat, I had to give the cat. Or the house or the room. Okay, put it aside now. Okay, you guys got it all done. Same well, drama, come on. <clears throat> okay. Between you guys.
also the question of what is the dream telling you, right? Like as far as your daily life. I understand that. Yeah. So I don't think we're done with that. That's all I'm saying. Hey, let's stay on the nerd. Okay. Having a having a Parmenides tomorrow? Yeah. There was a question about how cold it would be, ah. and whether we wanted to start maybe an hour or so later. Okay. Because there was frost, okay. and Tina was suggesting. And if I had the time, I would go get a, a tank. But if somebody has time, if she needs another tank, or or help her out, um, because it's going to make a difference. But it will be below zero. It will be. Yeah. That's tomorrow sure. morning. And and so below zero. It was frost on the on the. Well, ground. I mean, thirty-two degrees. Yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah, below. Yeah, freezing. <laughs> so so we. I thought we. She just suggested we start an hour later. Yeah. Okay. So start at eight o'clock. Okay. Good. Do I have to go? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Couple when you things. have a dream, right, which is this way. By the way, you're going to have to ask questions about it, aren't mm. you? Well, what do you mean? Well, just take a sure. look. Okay. Two parts of the dream, agree? Yep, yes. Yeah. Okay. idea that's in there, whether or not they explore it, it's repeated, referred to. Okay. Okay. 
around and look at them. That's fun. Yeah. Striking. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> what do you want to what do you want to discover before you go any further? <clears throat> is the is the thing that you're supposed to do with Nabuya related to the gorgeous? Do, do it again, please. The in the second part the, uh, when Nabuya says we well, weren't supposed to weren't we supposed to do that thing? Is that related to the gorgeous, the top part? That thing that you were okay. supposed to do. He wants to know something uh, different than what's going on in the drama. He's asking for additional information. Okay, good. Next. <clears throat> I'd ask what it was like when you were both talking equally, talking about on a more equal type of basis. And what it was like when he focused on a particular quote. Okay. I'd like to know what tone Nobuya said the words in when he said we weren't supposed to do that thing. <laughs> weren't we supposed to? Okay. No, weren't we? Supposed Thank you. To. Weren't we supposed to do that thing? Someone else? <clears throat> I'd like to know what. Um, Whether what whether well what is it that he's talking to Pierre about on an equal basis uh, and well, uh, that which is oh I thought it was different and I focused is that the same or different? Okay, what would you say? Just that's an easy one to answer. You know, <clears throat> a lot of my dreams recently is having this kind of hazy, sparse details type of quality. This is the only intellectual content of that part of the dream. So then right. that's the dream. Of that particular part. That's right. Yeah. So no so other points can I remember that I made or Pierre made. Yeah, but see, the see. idea of talking on an equal basis doesn't have content as far as what we were actually saying. Yeah. See, that's, this is the only thing that This is the world of the dream. And yeah. you're saying I can stay just within the dream yeah. itself. Yeah. Perfect. Okay? Someone else? Hmm. No, I. Well, I guess I'd want to know if there are separate states for the one, two, and three. You know, states of mind in the dream. Okay, then I might, you're saying maybe there's a different a progression or a up or down, but a okay. progression. Good. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. Okay. We don't know anything about the person he's talking to. True. What do you mean we don't know? He's a philosopher. No, 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 no. I mean, just okay. in terms of the data. Therefore, it's a, a request to know what effect is what you're having on this person. Yeah, that's, there's nothing like that. So far as you know, nothing. He's just present. He pre yeah, and we were... Equal. Well, I, when I say... You know, the equal issue is curious because... Um, when I say more on an equal basis, I'm thinking about like my history of studying with you and being the guy at the table, yeah. and you're the guy up at the whiteboard. Yeah. In the dream, we're both in front of the poster, yeah. both standing. And I'm not very, sitting at a table. Right? That's very important. Yeah. You see, that's a vital piece. So. And we're talking. Yeah. Okay. So there's a <coughs> equality. About the same thing. There's an equality. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> that helps this. That helps my question, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right? Okay. Again, now going to uh, what is it like when you're going through these three points? Especially the. Go ahead. This is a high state of mind. Um, <clears throat> how high? Meaning. One, well, I mean, I've had so many kind of negative states and dreams recently. This is, this stood out as, yeah. Very? Yeah. So, a tenor? I mean, another thing is that it, it seemed, I don't know how to express this, but it, it both seemed real and it seemed like 
almost like a fantasy in the sense that like I almost didn't write it down because I thought it was like something I was projecting as a vain hope on my part. Um, excuse me, not write it down, but voice record it. But I, I voice recorded it anyway. Um, it was very clear, like Thank so you. clear Come on. Clear. and real, like real, like it was really happening. I know real. most dreams are like that, but this stood out even more so. Okay, now notice, I'm interested in that state of mind. Mm. So I have, it's a high state, it's clear, it's real. In terms of your whole past life, how many times have you been in a state like that? And anywhere, anytime? How many times? Hmm. Rare, frequent, like... Right. It's, it's a rare, it's... Okay, if take it as rare, all right? Then what does that mean? Now we want to know a few more words about clear and real. How did you feel about yourself? Great. Come on, what way great? Come on, more. I felt like I had something to say. Um, See, what's interesting about this dream, which makes it unique, all right? Not many dreams have this kind of content. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Because these states of mind are vindicated by one, two, three. Vindicated? That is to say, you're giving evidence to support your claim or your state of mind. That's, that's a very high kind of dream. So therefore, what is it like when you were going through these three things? Anything particular or? Let me ask you again another way. Suppose someone were to say, uh, uh, what do you think of the Gorgias and now that you're coming to those three conclusions about it. So this is kind of a recursive question. What does that what does that do to you? Let me be clear about something, okay? Putting it in terms of three things, I, I don't know. Um, I don't even know that there are three things here. Um, non acquisition of evil. Uh huh. Right. Similar to the happiest state of body for man to be Second. in, which is not that of being medically treated, but right. never being ill at all. Fine. So, um, three points. Right, three points. But this is to to put them to lay them out like this is me being awake, recollecting the dream, and re and knowing what I know about the Gorgias right now. And putting those, I'm not saying I went through those three. For me, those three in the dream are one state. Yes, I agree. That's good. So right. that's, a, that's a meaningful question. That's a meaningful statement. But what, so what? What does that do to you? Same thing. All three are the same. Okay, look. So that allows us to well, characterize them. There's lots of states of mind in the Gorgias. This is one of the, this is, if not one of the highest, the highest. So then, you're picking one of the highest states of mind in the Gorgias as you're communicating that to someone called Pierre. Yeah. Right. As an equal. As an equal, thank you. Right? Yeah. What was that like? Can you add any more words to it? Hmm. Okay, stop. Hey, hi, Barbara. Hey! Uh, this is not a serious state of mind. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Just kind of curious, say to me. Yep. Uh, hey. Yeah. Why? What? What do you think of it? What? Where might it go? Well, um. Uh, just, just don't go into there. What do you think? Have you been exploring states of mind yourself? Well, he has been. No. Yeah, I have been. Oh, you have? Yeah. Uh, do you have some expertise in states of mind, can you say, in terms of your background, present? Yeah. Oh. 
If you were to judge this stage uh -huh. in terms of your background, uh, what would you think about it? If that is to say, if you were in the same state using these statements, yeah. yeah, what would you say about it? It's a high, high state of uh -huh. self. Hey, Jenny, I understand you've been there. Enlightenment. Have you done? Huh? Yeah. Buddhism, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Now, what does it suggest to you? Anything at all? Can you? Oh, Barbara, have you been involved in such a matter? Uh, what does it might suggest to you? Well, it suggests at least like the brilliant light of being or, or the idea of the good because of the you know, never being ill at all, non-acquisition of any evil. It seems like a very high, enduring state. And I, I it could go higher, yes. but it looks like it's at least there, yeah. would be my thought. Right. Now, I chose these people, one, two, three, because of their background sitting and that kind of stuff. Right? So, all of these remarks, what you're dreaming is, is really a very profound dream. What is this just there for? A breakthrough of some kind. Right. A very profound breakthrough. And even the word breakthrough isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. right. what no. you, That's true. Well, because it isn't it, it's an ongoing. So. What do you, how so? Now now Barbara's answer. Oh be, well, sorry. Well, because it looks like it's an ongoing. Right. State, not one that's going to admit of taint or admixture, oh. a very pure state. Yeah, and breakthrough might just be a flash, and maybe just one step. Yeah, yeah even the whole Nabuya part, right? Yes, <clears throat> indicates yeah continuation. Yeah, right? that and more than that. Okay, yeah, add to it from the Nabuya state. Oh, I mean, the Nabuya state was really impressive in the sense that. I don't think of Nabuya as a, a big guy. I mean, he's a short guy, right? But the way he was in the dream, it was like, I mean, it was just like he was really stepping outside of himself. I mean, his arm was like this. I mean, it wasn't just a shake, you know? Yeah. It was like this. Hey, man. Yeah. You know, like... What does it mean, therefore, <laughs> with that attitude in the dream? Mm -hmm. Come on. And that logo, that's yes. an important logo. It was beautiful. No, I mean, no, in the context. Okay, sorry. He would have liked to have what? Mm -hmm. It was like we were going to get together and do things. Going to change the world. Weren't we supposed to do that thing? Yeah, that that's that the thing? that's that that puzzle that question's a puzzle, but even the way he asked not a it puzzle. was no, happy. Not, nothing puzzling about it. Nothing puzzling about it. Okay, Barbara's right. <laughs> read it. What? I met Nobuya, and he gives me a big handshake and says, "Weren't we supposed to do that thing?" Thank you. In terms of, <laughs> hey, that's this. It is. Therefore, what would he have liked to have done? That's what I'm not clear about. Yes, mm. you are. Yes, you can be. Mm -hmm. It's there. What would he have liked to have done? Yes. What does it say? Weren't we supposed to do that thing? No. no. You were doing it with someone else. What's he saying? I say it's a puzzle because I was never clear right what thing he's referring to. Right we're talking about your dream now. In the dream, you are not puzzled. Unless you want to add that, that well, I was really in the dream. It looks like you could accept what he said in the dream. Correct me. You shake his hand or not, bud? Oh, I shook his hand. 
What's the significance? Barbara's right. Look, right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, look. It says. What'd you bring to that shake, guy? Or were you like, oh, uh, oh, no. I, oh, okay, I, I. No, I wasn't anything like that. Okay. How were you? Of course, he was. I mean, he was big. You know, and like I said, he, he was reaching out. Uh -huh. um, weren't we supposed to do that thing? I mean, that the dream ends right there. Uh, I'm not saying I was puzzled in the dream, but if you consider that question, there's no hey. there's no clear clarity on what the thing is. It's clear enough. Look here. <laughs> is it making a statement about? You would like to be one or the other, and be, be there. Yeah, he wasn't there. I know. No. But is that the point that he's making? Weren't we? The we was me and him. I'm with you. Right. Weren't we supposed to be there instead of him? Hmm. It could go there, but, but I don't oh, know. Literally. Does that allow that inference? So he's making some important statements. Yeah, yeah, it could you. very well go there. Right? Right. And and he's thrilled about that. Yeah. Some kind of equal. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's thrilled. He's thrilled about something. About you doing something. Because look at the could be, yeah. Right? So therefore you're getting what? Uh, confirmation, yeah. affirmation. Yeah. Congratulations. Must be Congratulations. about something. Huh? Must be about something that occurred here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if it's true, she played games, then if he was going to be you in that scene, then he would have experienced what you experienced. Would he have liked that? Sure. Yeah. Or if it refers to this guy, he would have liked to have been him with you on an equal basis when you're experiencing that thing. Hard question outcomes. Hey, look here. If it's equal then, are both of these people in this state of mind? Therefore, he would have liked to have been either one. Find that question. Yeah, sure. Very beautiful dream. Very profound dream. Yeah. What I want to know is, can can you get more about what "supposed to" do means? And there's a reason. Supposed to do. It's okay. What is supposed to do? had a plan and didn't meet it? Didn't mean it? Didn't mm. meet it? Meet it. Yeah. Mm. Me Who didn't meet it though? Yeah, that's right. I don't know. You don't know? No. Uh, yeah, okay, so you're saying Nabuya and this, if, if it does refer to the other. Well, you, you were saying it was something that you were, some goal that you guys didn't achieve, the we. Is that correct? That's how he put it, yeah. Yeah. So is that fair to say? Um, that, we, that we didn't achieve it? Mm -hmm. no, uh, no, 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 no. That that's something that, that it's a goal that you guys didn't achieve. You said we were supposed to meet something. Meet, you used the word meet something, right? Uh, we meet? Well, whatever. See, what I, yeah. Pierre, I don't know if it's fair, but... Ever since you pointed out, with respect to part one, that it was so positive, he's been getting more and more uncomfortable. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not funny, hey, but, but it looks Maybe like... Maybe trying to be precise, though. Oh, that's okay, but I just wanted... It, I found it interesting that that was... Before we even got to part two, uh -huh. right? Before we even got to part two, Ingmar, it was really interesting. The, the more it was pointed out, you kind of... Well, going, it's mm -hmm. this, is, this is what's, you know... 
I guess what's what is uh, making me respond in that way is the initial interpretation or understanding that I've had of what's happening here. Like, the way we're match. looking at it now, it seems that we're being critical of the Nobuya figure, no. whereas I wasn't taking it that no, way before. I, I, I didn't hear that at all. But... but didn't? Why but, do you come to that conclusion? Because of the idea that he would wish to be one of those two other guys in that state of mind. Why is that critical? Why not that? Why not that be, be being on a similar basis? He would like to have been there doing the same thing. Sure, it's not critical. And but so like my but my initial response to the dream was that Nobuya himself is in a high, very high state in his part of the dream. Uh, I, I mean, look, I can't help but factor in, like, my history with Nobuya, which is, you know, I didn't get invited to his wedding. It seems like we have big-time difficulties getting along as people, mm -hmm. which was completely absent from this dream. That's right. You know, so... What he represents is what people represent in a dream. That's the dream. It's the yeah. Well... Mm -hmm. But so then I wonder what the Dream Master is trying to tell me if this guy I've got a tough history with, I'm getting along with so well. That's so right. I have a question. I don't. Let me oh. finish. Go ahead. Well, I mean, again, my initial understanding is I, you know, whatever problems I might have with Nabuya, he's someone that has done a significant amount of dream work with you and. I mean, two things. He's into dream work, and he's into writing. These are two things that are really important to me right now. So I've been getting back into dream work, and I've been working on preparing at least, and doing some writing, and I felt like this was... You're bringing, you're bringing in your background yeah. into the dream and using that to understand it. Yeah, that's what I originally did. You can't do that. Okay. This is your... This is a different world. Therefore, it's those people that are like these people, rather than literally that person. Okay. So, like all, the, whatever therefore you just said that represents to you Nubuya is what that is, not Nubuya. Mm. All the people who write, all the people that have many, many dream works, the dream masters putting them all together and saying, that's him for the dream. Huh? What is that to do in the dream? Taking your personal history away from it. I think it's a great dream. It's nice. It's a nice. I hope to have more dreams like this because I deserve to. <laughs> no, 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 what? no. This is saying what's really going on that you're not willing to admit to yourself. Mm. Well, wait a minute. He that did puts... on Friday night when he was exploring his dream. He did say at near the end, right? He was amazed that he was getting back into dream world. Thrilled. Right? Thrilled. Thrilled. Yeah. That he was getting back into it. Mm -hmm. So it seems like, so mm -hmm. I, I wonder when, when the Booyah gives you the big handshake, it's like what? What? <laughs> that's it. Right? That's helpful, too. You're right. in it? Yeah, good. Okay. But see, see, and could yeah. I? You did, it's you just the supposed to do part. Because that's not, you know, one philosopher meets another philosopher and says, Ingmar, one philosopher meets another philosopher, one dream work slash writer meets another dream work slash writer and says, weren't we supposed to do that thing? No. What do you see in that? I don't know. This is not Joe Smith giving you the big hands. Shake. Well, okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I'm done.
Well, suppose to do so is so interesting, Pierre. Yeah, and, I, I, and I'm in, sorry. I'm, well, I'm, I'm not being very a, forthcoming because that's okay. I've been puzzled about it ever since it came up, that question. So, uh, do you have a list of things you're supposed to do? Oh, yeah. And on that list of supposed to do things, where would you put one? Let's... Hi. It's... Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go there. Okay. Okay. Shows. Uh, do you know what the word for supposed? Another word for supposed? Yeah. Uh, ex um, could achieve? Yeah, what more? Um, suppose. Um, am obligated to do, yeah. am responsible to do, and Plan. should, should uh, do? Yeah. Uh, everyone, I have a trouble with the word supposed. I, I, English is not really my first language, and I'm just getting into it. So what are other words would you use for suppose? Because I just heard a few offerings. Uh, is that what it means to you? Oh, well, forget that. What is your, how would you understand that word, suppose? Plan, should, no. or agreed to. Oh. Context. Oh, what does that do to the statement? <clears throat> no, no, try it. Does it do it? Does it add it? It either does or it doesn't. I don't care. It's not my future dream. It seems like there's a blame here. Where is the blame? I didn't see it. But with well, suppose there's a blame, I didn't hear that in your words that suggest the word suppose. Weren't we supposed, as if we missed doing That's what true. we were supposed to do? That's true. <clears throat> but but in, in what spirit was it said? Uh, that's just yeah. it. Mm. It was not a blaming spirit. It was completely jovial. Well, then you can't use like that. Like he was smiling when then, he said it. Therefore, you, know? you can't use that understanding to go with that word. Give me another use of the word that would fit. <sighs> um, a reminder? Um, like he's, he's bringing it back up again mm -hmm. so that we can do it? Oh. And therefore, he would like to be that doing so it. Yeah. Go through the same thing. Yeah. Oh, is, is that better? Sure. Is that how like? Did, how did you get there? Uh -huh. By focusing on a word that was right, might be a problem. Problem. Yeah. Right. And then getting the dreamer to say, try other words for it. Right? I don't understand it. Get his understanding of it, so he can. The dreamer can use his own understanding to understanding a puzzle that contained in the dream with that word. Could, could it be like a, almost an invitation? Huh? Yeah, it was an invitation. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's so different. Fun? Yeah. Like I didn't get invited to the wedding, but <laughs> we were supposed to do something. Yeah. Well, they even married like that. You years. didn't miss anything, <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, well, I was so like pissed. But I'll tell you. Oh, <laughs> just okay. Well, you want to collect it? I mean, or I don't know, maybe he is doing it. It's a very different way of being to just look at the thing and mm. not bring anything in. Yes, sir, sir. Can you compare it's a state huh? state mirrors? Can you compare Nobuya state mirrors in the game? Is there any can you see that or is that not on the Um You mean in the first part? Or in the second first part? compared to the first to the second. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. okay, thank it's a, you. It's a I it's a very involved. different way of, of functioning and of being <laughs> to understand something in its own terms. Yes. That's my it's the way I started out. I have to understand the person, I have to understand the thing in itself, the hell with the mm. the hell with what you personally think. Put it all aside. Mm. If you don't do that, you're carrying a past understanding in the present and that's that's 
opening up Not the door to chaos. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. I was just asking whether he could compare Nobuya's state to his state. Yes, go right ahead. Well, I, I don't actually. Uh, if there's no way, I'm. No, I'm it's just, um, you know, he was congratulatory, but I was in a, um, you know, not, not a kind of jubilant celebrating as much as a reflective talking. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean. But I thought you said he was in a high state him? as well. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, celebratory, congratulatory, happy. Oh, just, was you didn't happy. mean it on a cognitive state. What do you mean? Well, you didn't mean it like... You're talking about Nabuya? High insight level. You just meant happy, or you meant blissful. Something like that. It was very friendly. So the more That's you're talking, the more you're talking, the more it appears that there's a similarity. Go ahead, finish it. You're escalating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's a similarity. But you might have to say you were in a higher state than Nobuya if we pushed it. I don't mind saying that. You don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? No, that if, that that point, it, if that is a legitimate point, then you have to accept. Okay. Like it sure, yeah. no, I don't, I don't, and maybe, like I was just saying, I don't mind Maybe that. it's a pretty high state and you're yeah. reluctant to go along with it, but nonetheless, is it, is it a legitimate statement to make in terms of the dream and your experience in the dream? So. Yeah, yeah, it is legitimate, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, good. Okay. In what way was it, Ill is it legitimate? Well, look, I mean, we say we're talking about an equal basis, but in the dream, Pierre didn't have anything. I, I was the one talking. Right. And? And I was the one being congratulated. Okay. So, so what, what do you see in that? It was a high state for me. For you? Very high, yeah. Higher than the both? both? Yeah, than both. Okay. But you were equal. I said, One. yeah, I said on a more equal type of basis, and I also, during our exploration, alluded to the fact that we were both standing in front of the marker board, marker paper, um, poster paper, which, by the way, mirrors something that was actually taking place the Friday night that took place right before this dream. Pierre and I were talking about the Gorgias, mm -hmm. both in front of the marker paper. <laughs> um, so... And Jeff was there. Some other people were there. Yeah. Say, so look, this this also relates to, I think, something that I raised a few weeks ago with Barbara and Jeff, and that is that I think the other members in the Noetic Society need to step up their games, myself included, right? And like, for example, if we're going to study while Pierre is not here, I suggested to Barbara and Jeff that someone should be in the leadership role. Take that on as a challenge. Not that they're going to be Pierre, but that they're going to try to bring their best game to doing philosophy in the highest possible way. Sure. This dream is, I think, responding to that. I think. <clears throat> what do you make of the contrasts in the content between the dream you explored Friday night and Saturday? Gina. What? Well, I'm sorry. the content of your dreams, the past couple ones we've explored on Friday night, they have these, like, evil forces, you know, stalking you. <coughs> yes. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, I have a third dream, yeah. But stalking. this one's no acquisition of evil. Yeah. Never ill at all. I was wondering what you saw on Friday night in your discussion with Pierre. Because this came after the dream exploration, right? Well, I mean, the, the basic idea here, and it's in the Gorgias too, right, is that if someone is unjust, right, they're going to be a lot happier if they do what they need to do to treat that ill, like as if it's an illness in the body. You're, you're not going to be happy if you have an illness in the body and you leave it untreated. Hey, what's even better than that? Not being ill at all. Not having to be in a condition of having to treat it. 
<clears throat> did you experience something like that on Friday night? No. I, I, I'm not sure what you're... Maybe. I mean... If not, then no. Uh, I, I'm just not sure if I, like, if I, if I say yes, where does that go? Something like that on Friday night. I don't, I don't or where else if it's not Friday night? Like when you use the words you clear, real. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Fun. Yes, thank you. Yes. Fun. Are we, are we going to do another one or are we done? But you, we got a, who's, who's got another one? I've oh, got a long he's got, one. She's got a long one. He's got one. But but who? There's three at least. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kind of changes wait, wait, the wait. mood, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. How about how about you, Pierre? You, you got steam for another one? Sure. All we'll right. Okay. No time. I was curious about your thing too. Like, what's what? Well, I don't know. Like your health or you? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. This pace. As far as I know, I, I, I need know. one. Any more uh, heart stoppages? As far as as far as I know, uh, there never has been a problem. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, could your could, could your you heart stop beating because yeah. you're in a higher yeah. state, like because you're meditating or something? Like, like, like what are they picking up on? Well, you see, these people can't ask those questions. Only you. Mm -hmm. The doctors don't ask those questions. Yeah. Where's <laughs> uh, that? Few copies of this. They have theories. Yeah. Oh, we got an extra. Oh, this yeah, one. Okay. The difficulty is. Oh, yeah, yeah. In terms of the time, it comes down to when. See, I had a. In terms of this data, which appears to be in a cephalograph of some kind, that there is a blank, a straight line of no heart beating. I was, I was dead. Oh, so I wanted that. to know when did that occur, yeah. time-wise, and uh, I thought they could be very precise, but it turns out they couldn't be precise within 30 minutes. Wow. Ah, what? And uh, why that's important is they said 5:30. Well, I'm usually up within 15 minutes of that. So it could have been when I was asleep, or waking up, or post. Huh. Then I could relate it to something, but they weren't able to tell me. So I, I don't know. I, I would have liked to have known. It'd be nice to hear the dreams you're having. Yeah, well, then it would have been interesting. A lot, a lot of things follow from that. Yeah. But, but they, they weren't able to tell me. They showed me all the graphs, you know. Oh, so where the, where's, the, where's the time? Where's the time on it? Oh, yeah. Time. It's weird. Okay. Yours? Okay, go ahead. Alex, are you going to read it? Or Go ahead, read it. Or, I don't know. Maybe that he doesn't want that. I'll try it. Let's see. Go ahead. I'll put it outfitted. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I could have uh, edited the curse words out of it, but I it just kind of ruined it. No, what fine. was the date on this? This was uh, the, <coughs> the 9th of uh, December. Um, it just struck me so weird because I'm not, you know, I'm not really this guy. Ever. So that was last Thursday. Sunday. Thursday. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't just know. just go ahead and read it. They were white supremacists with Trump hats on. One was older in the 60s, and one was a young skinhead. I was with Lily, and they started yelling something like, you fucking demon, at me, making me feel bad for something I was doing wrong. I submitted to them and said I was sorry and cowered away, but that just made them call me and Lily more names and come closer. All of 
a sudden I started yelling back something like, I'm not even Mexican, I'm Italian, you freaking idiots. And all of a sudden the young skinhead started retreating and showed fear, while the old man kept taunting me. I started walking up to him and said, okay, now you're going to get hurt. Very matter of fact. He looked scared and asked for forgiveness, but I repeated, no, now you're going to get hurt. And I approached him and felt the feeling of guilt and sympathy for him, but I felt, knew, it had to be done. I was going to hurt him in cold blood, no adrenaline, so much so that I was thinking about the pain I was going to feel on my knuckles. I remember since I've broken my left hand knuckles so many times before, I should use an open palm instead of a fist. He was scared and coward. I hit him on the nose, the side of the neck, and on the lowest rib. Each hit broke something and blood trickled from his mouth. I felt a strange mix of pity. Wait, that's pity. Pity? Pity or piety? Or piety? Pity. Yeah. You know, I just felt around pity, like I felt sorry for her. Ah. But I'm not, not no right. pious message. It should be no, pit. No, no. Yeah, P-I-T-Y. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Just a spelling mistake. The dream. I was like... Go around the circle, but... Uh, mm. Julie? Uh... What, what, uh, was that feeling of pity and justice? What? And ask, what was that feeling of pity and justice? Why did you go there? Because it, uh, seems to capture some opposite, it's very dramatic. Yeah, it was very dramatic. Oh, why did you do that on that basis? <laughs> Yes, it is true. It was very dramatic. Right. So what? Why did you go there? Well, because those are both very high, high. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no. Look, it captured not, me. Please. Mm. That means you picked a state. That's the state you would explore. I'm not saying that is irrelevant. You don't have to defend it. I'm saying, yeah, that's a good state, but that's not getting to the heart of the drug. So, next. Okay. Uh, I'd go to the second paragraph, the fourth line from the bottom, where it says, but I felt I knew it had to be done. Okay. But I said felt knew because... Yeah. Done? I don't know if it was um, yeah. a feeling or a knowledge, right? Like it was you don't have to say a thing. Okay. Done? Well, I mean, am I, am I pointing out what the problem is, what I think is the problem? I, I would say... Well, I would uh, I would look at the I submitted to them yeah. and said I was sorry and cowered away. Um, that's what I would look at. I, yeah, I'm torn. I like Yanni's. Um, I had that thought, but he recovered. But what he did do was when the guy cowered, when he looked and scared and, and uh, asked for forgiveness and repeated it, uh, he went on. You mentioned several points. I'll take those together. I think uh, I got it now. So it? There, 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 there's no good choices being explored in this dream. Hmm. So, but that's the dream. You're, you're quite correct. So, so why are the why are all the choices between worse and less evils being so selected? Do you disagree with what's being raised? Good. Now, what would be your point? How would you approach it? Well, is the only response to cower or get violent? Okay, you're not telling me what you're seeing. You're giving only part of it. Can you give the rest of it? Oh. Okay. 
always there's a drama going on. Where is the critical turn and the drama? Heart to whole. Where is the critical point? I submitted to them. I was doing, oh. make me feel bad for something I'm doing wrong. I submitted to them. When he, um, he felt the guilt and sympathy for him, but he went no. ahead and... No. All of a sudden, I started yelling back. That's what I would say. All of a sudden, I, start, uh, I started yelling back something. That's what I say is the critical change. That's true. Uh, but you're not using the material. All of a sudden, okay, I submitted to them, oh, no, 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 making me feel bad for something I was doing wrong. I submitted to them and said I was sorry and cowered away, but that just made them call me and Lily more names and come closer. All of a sudden, I started yelling back something like, I'm not even Mexican, I'm Italian, you fucking idiots. I would say that, uh, yeah. And all of a sudden, the young skinhead started retreating and showing fear, and showed fear. Yeah, all of that is true. But I think critical. The, the critical point is at the moment when he then makes the judgment, okay, now I'm going to, right? Now you're going to get hurt. Right. What does that do to what came before and after? Retaliation. I was the uh, offender now. I was now the you're the offender. Yes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Why is that important in the dream as you look at it, in terms of this story, compared to what all of you have said? Mm -hmm. it, it flips the drama. Flips the drama. It's pivotal. Yeah. pivotal. Yeah. And there's no going back. Right. And there's no going back. Right? It's pivotal. Right? Mm -hmm. Does it, it, in that quote, would you not get a state of mind by then asking the dreamer, at that moment when oh, you're yeah. saying that, what was it like? Mm. Right? Yes. What was it like? Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, it was like I was taking on some type of responsibility of justice, like, uh, that they had to be punished. Taking on responsibility for a certain kind of justice. That was beyond my personal situation. I was, it was like I was going to punish them for the sake of justice. It wasn't a revenge. It was very not personal. It was... No, you're taking on... What would you say again? Take on the responsibility. Yeah, 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 responsibility, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt bad for them. That yeah, said. you would still feel bad. So what? Right. Therefore, would you agree, folks, that with this principle, which is also a state of mind, he acts out. And yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether he feels good or bad about it, he's now motivated mm. to pursue on that basis. Yeah. Right? Would you not agree at this point you would want to get, hey, give us a description mm -hmm. of what that moment was like? Mm. You take part, see, but it's too theoretical. See, see that? Right. It's too theoretical. It's true. Right. But what did it do to you? Uh, it took away my. Uh, kind of like my humanity on a certain level. That's right? true. But what did it do to you now that we know what it didn't do? Uh, what was it like in the dream at that moment is the question. Well, it was like... Uh, but, okay, let me compare it to maybe uh, there, there's a hurt bird and you, you know it's on the street it got ran over or something and it's suffering. You know it's going to die so you kill it to put it out of its misery. Uh, Thank you. Got that change. What is he doing? Is that coffee? Water. Is that taking a person out of their misery? What's it? What do you see in there? Mercy killing. Is that right? Uh, 
Notice that wasn't quite a state of mind. No, right. no, that's good. Yeah. Right? That was yeah. like, what is it equivalent to? Yeah. So I'd go, <clears throat> uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, use other words for it. Okay. It was like, it, uh, I was doing something bad for a higher good. I know, but what okay. did that do to you? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what was it like? Well, there was a feeling of power, right? Uh, oh. <coughs> Come on, power. Uh, Being right, did you say? Maybe righteous. Righteous. Come on, more. Uh, <coughs> control. There, what control. kind of control? Uh, <laughs> like I was making a decision. What's that like? Because I, 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 uh, you're having trouble finding words to put on your feelings, aren't yes, you? Yes, sir. Right? When you see that, right? mm. when the person's doing that, you're not going to get an answer. Right? So watch. So, um, as you're thinking about it, can you, uh, is that state of mind clear in your mind even though you can't put words on it? Yeah. Yeah. Where does that go? Say the hell with the description. Huh? Yeah. It's like I, I get a rush. I'm oh, I get a rush. Come on, more. And uh, say, when did you come on? What am I going to ask? Where, when he experienced that in the as a, in his past. Where did you experience it in the past? Who is that? Hmm. Well, I have an idea. The night, the day before something happened. I know that, forget it. Okay. We will go through the analogy later. Okay. No, when you were that's young, like my when dad. You when? What, huh? When? What? When? What age? Did it happen to me? That's I okay. remember clearly. I, I no, remember. no, no. Okay. We don't care whether it was you or him okay. or your mother or your aunt. Okay. We want to know then, when you experienced that. That day. Uh, that could be him. Well, I get the scene all of a sudden. I was like six, and I was chopping at a palm tree with this little axe, you know, being this little uh -huh. vandal. And then my dad saw me from the balcony, and he said, come up here and get a beating. And then I, I had to sit there for a long time and work myself up to go up there and take my beating, you know. Then I went up there, uh, you know, he slapped me a couple hand, a couple times, backhand, in the face. You know, and there was no words or anything. Oh, but it let you be like him. It did, yeah. That's why I don't understand. So there's something about that that you saw him in a way that's memorable, and you can now imitate him. You're imitating him. You want to know why you're doing that? Yeah, it's it's almost like I'm joining the skinheads in there, yeah. right? It's yeah. it's like I'm. So therefore, we do not agree, we want to know if this is really now, Dad, what was it about it that made that so damn memorable that you're now imitating? How do you get that? Hey, how was he normally? Uh, I mean, not that much different, but... <laughs> That's okay. Uh. Then, if he wasn't that much different, what made this different? Just because it was really in cold blood like this, you know, as uh -huh. I come up here and then so I'm this like, is a primary expression of it, hmm. right? How would you describe it? The what? Well, he said it was in cold blood too. In cold blood means what to you? Hmm. There's no emotions. Uh, no. At other times, that might have been there. But this time it was your cold and blood. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He wasn't. He didn't show this big anger or this yeah. big, you know. It was just. 
Yeah, self-control. Yeah, it was very self-controlled. Yeah, yeah. you picked up one word and you used it. Control. Right, right, right. yeah. So, well, that control was more of like taking control. Well, taking control. Yeah, take, yeah. Like you like definitely dance. took control. Mm. Yeah. Cool, right? Just right. like him. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. That was definite parallel right. to that scene. Right. Yeah. So, in a way, that's his high moment. Uh, well, yeah, if it was like in a movie, it would appear yeah. like a very uh, yeah. uh, particular character. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, what do you find interesting about this dream? Now it goes back to the other day. Well, that, that's where I'm torn about this thing on justice uh, and vengeance, you know, what's, if there's a difference between it. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the other day, uh, the day before this, uh, I was in a situation and uh, I could have limited it to the point at hand, but I chose to uh, divulge information that had to do, that would make this other person uh, kind of pay for what they had done, uh, made them look not that they didn't deserve it, because they actually brought up the point first, but I could have just said, hey, that's not what we're talking about. Well, instead, you played this I engaged, number. yes. Yeah, good. good. What did I do you didn't do? <coughs> Why did I go for that quote? It's a turning <coughs> Turning point, and it, and it was an expression in the dream, in his own words, at that pivotal moment, state of mind, that's where you went to. He didn't stop. What? No, I didn't get it either. I was... He didn't stop at that moment where he could have. Because it, it was clear that it, it, it could have ended. Over. Yeah, like I did the day before, I could have ended it and said, hey, yeah. we're not talking about that. Yeah. But instead, I, I uh, uh, engage in a verbal beating of some sort. So the dream is helping you. The dream is helping me. Yeah, I'm off track. <laughs> <laughs> also, it seems like hitting the palm tree with your little axe was pretty trivial. And your dad says you have to have a beating for that. Well, let's not go into that. <laughs> no, you? yeah, that's that's kind of the. How old were you? Was a, was a Regina, is it okay if I make more coffee? <laughs> Are you leaving? No, no. Uh, if, if we're going to get into a Julie's dream. I don't think we're going to do my dream. Let's go. Cool. Is he? Okay. Um, well, if I ask you one the question, you coffee? got logos that was the doorway to the past. Okay. Yeah. He wants to know if you want more coffee. Jimmy does. Well, yes, I'd appreciate it. Right. <coughs> so she no, no, needs to make, make some. It. She has to make it. Oh, okay. Um. Why is he behind me? I mean, what's, what's this guy? Is he the fault or something? Uh, it's, I mean, it sounds like the axe what? might have been a little sharper than. Well, what kind of an axe was hey. it? But Julie, can we do your dream? Yeah. Hey, Julie. <laughs> well, I didn't want Gina yeah, to miss out. Come we on, should just proceed. Well, okay. So you can hear from the side. My dog is in the ditch. Uh oh. Okay, well. <laughs> My dog jumps in the ditch to go chase the squirrels or whatever, and then everybody's ready to call animal controller. It's just in the ditch. It's not, you know, but I don't know these people. Well, these dogs have to be leashed. It's a lot. No, he's in the backyard. He jumps in a hey. ditch, you know. Hey, take care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Miles, see you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Bye, thanks. See you. Okay, so this um, was this morning. Um, it seemed like it lasted four hours. I was with T, and we went to UCI, and there was an event. We were going to. You want a coffee? I'll get one. Thank here. you. I think that's his. Here, but that here, one here, here, right here. There in front of here, here you go, right there. Yeah. Um, and we were going to like a talk or something and we went to it and then after that we left the building 
I'm not sure what we did, but about an hour later we were, I don't know if we were leaving or what, but we passed by the building that we had been at before. And I think we just opened the door and walked through like a shortcut. But now the building was set up for an event. And there were baskets set up on all the tables. And in the basket was a bottle of like Grand Marnier and other things. This room here was set up with tables in the front and then there was a kind of like auditorium, amphitheater kind of seating that went up and it was filled with people. And they were all wearing Indian style outfits like from India. And it seemed like there was a wedding that they were celebrating, so they were having the wedding ceremony there. Actually, I, I wrote ceremony, but when I was thinking that, it was actually the reception that I wanted to say. Okay. Um, but as we were there, we were just walking slowly around this room, but the doors were like totally pushed open, so it was just continuous, the inside to the outside. There was no real boundary. There were pillars in the room, and so there were tables set up, little tables set up, so you know it might be a spot where four people could sit down and enjoy this basket, have a little bit of Grand Marnier, and then some other things that were in the basket. The thing is, there were no chairs set around these tables, and all the bottles were, none of the bottles were full. They all were almost empty, and my impression at that time was that these are leftovers, and the party's over. And the thing is, it seems like this dream seems like it lasts about four hours. And at one point, it was kind of weird. There was this kind of dirt area <coughs> where a body had been buried. And one of the party participants, this man, at one point, he picked up the body and threw it over onto the floor. And I was kind of shocked because, I mean, I had to look at that dirt area again. This was a dirt area in the room over on the side where there were some plants coming out of it. But I looked, and sure enough, there was a hole there where a body had been before. You could see the outline of this body where it was buried, just superficially under the ground. And I thought, you know, I remember that body when I was working here, or a student here. I remember that body showing up. And like, I guess nobody ever did anything about it. But now here it is, and somebody's done something about it and it's been thrown into the trash because this guy was like throwing it there as a way of cleaning up. But again, it was unclear if he was, I mean, it seems like he was cleaning up the area for the event to occur. And yet with all these bottles around that were so empty, it seemed like the event was over. But the feeling was that he was cleaning up. He was throwing the body out there as a way of getting ready for the party. At about the same time, I think R appeared. And I think she wanted to sit down and drink a bottle of that stuff. But I cautioned her that this was part of an event that was going on and motioned her to see the people sitting up in the bleachers. And so we all left a while. T and I, and I'm not sure where we went. I think I went my way and he went his way. And then we passed by that area like maybe an hour later on our way to go to the car to leave. And by then all the people had left that room. It's like, okay, that event was done now. But all the tables remained, and everything was still very neat, and the baskets were there, and everything was still there. And what I was stuck, struck by, or stuck perhaps is better, I was struck by was the lavishness and expense of all this. It just looked very lavish. And there was a lot of space there. So that was it. Also, there were some horses. There was a white horse there, maybe T and I had come on, on horses. There were a couple of horses, maybe Tony was talking to the horse or something. Is that that part? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Julie? Yeah. How would you approach it in terms of the dream? Hmm. Well, I wonder if there was a goal. Was there? Um. Okay. Any particular state of mind that interested you that you think is worth pointing to? <laughs> there apparently was a goal, but it was so minor. Or yeah. Okay, that's good enough. It's just passed over. Um, state of mind. Um, I 
the state of mind was um, I was kind of shocked about that body finally being dealt with. Um, I was also struck by the lavishness and expense of all. So, hmm. get to my question. The feelings? What would you focus on in this okay. dream to understand? <coughs> okay, Eggman? I would focus on the first sentence. Really? Huh? I would focus. I would. I mean, I would focus on the first sentence. Um, I was with T. That sentence. Yeah, I was. Uh huh. And um, because because it looks like if I looked at that as a goal, it looks like it's a um, that right off the bat, it's a success mm -hmm. stream. That certainly mm -hmm. is a goal. Mm -hmm. What would you want to know about it? Actually, I don't know. Okay. I don't either. I'm. I'm. That it's very, it seems a very strange dream because the the strong <coughs> emotions are not with respect to the goal that was expressed. Well, that, so, fair enough, that's that's good, the dream. Fair that's that's a, your, and that's a good observation. Uh, mm. Just no. Look here. Uh, there's several things but we approach it the same way. Mm -hmm. As a whole, what do you find curious about it? As a drama. Right. You're all Sherlock Holmes. Mm. Right? You want to <coughs> discover it right there. The building. <coughs> okay. Well, well, so, um, I'm struck by the fact that in the second paragraph there's there's tables set up where four people could sit down, enjoy this basket, have a little Grand Marnier, and then some other things that were in the basket. Um, but then as the paragraph continues, there's no chairs to sit in. There's nothing in the bottles. There are leftovers, the party's over. So, so that contrast. Stay on that one word. What are, the, what are the first two contrast things that you see in the dream? The first two contrasts. Oh, Oops. Okay. If you were to compare and contrast the two different scenes. Did you want to? Oh, please. Right from the I early this part of the dream, what would you conclude? Which two scenes are we contrasting? First two contrasts. Okay. First of all, part to hold. Come on. There is a contrast going on. Well, there's a contrast of going to the clock and then let we left. Not the two scenes. Oh. There are two events. What are the mm. two events? Oh, there's the event of the Indian wedding and mm. the event that they plan to go to, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's one way of yeah. seeing it. Is it in the same place? It looks Is it a point that yeah. it's in the same place? Yeah. Yep. And it's supposed to be a shortcut to leaving. By the way, then you were looking at what someone did to the same place that you attended. Mm. Is that right? Hmm, I have to think about this. Let's no, you see. don't have to think about it.
You were at a you were at an event one, yeah. and the second you saw the differences. What did it do to you? Hmm. Uh, I was hmm. I was amazed that they had changed the whole. Yeah. Thank you. What was that like? I was amazed. Come on. Well. About about what? Come on. About the difference? Hmm. What were you amazed about? Actually, it was. Um, oh, I don't know how to put this in the word. Uh, I was amazed that that big of an event could come in so quickly and transform the room. So, did you benefit by the difference, or did someone else? Well, someone else did, but we got, I, I felt like we were benefiting, too. In what way were you benefiting since you weren't invited and you didn't participate in it? Right. Well, there was a sense that um, Look here. Hey, we're all here. Yeah. Right? We're leaving. Yeah. You come back and now suddenly you see <laughs> the debris of a huge Indian wedding. Yeah. yeah. Lavish. Well, I had my eye on the leftovers. <laughs> Thank you. I kept, that idea Watch. kept coming up. This is a contrast <laughs> in states of mind. Mm -hmm. Look here. I was looking at leftovers. As I'm grabbing the crumbs off these? Yeah, I'm going for the crumbs. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, look here. Second uh -huh. con contrast. Yeah. Right? Is, is there something significant going on in the second part of the dream? That part, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Which is what? The, the body. Thank you. Right? And what did you discover about the body? That sh she had already seen yes. the body. Right? Hey. She could recollect. Mm-hmm. Come on. What could you recollect? Read it. I could recollect seeing that that before. Mm-hmm. Look here. Read I it. I remember please. that body showing up. And you nobody. Know, no, get mm -hmm. to the quote, please. You know, I remember that body when I was working there. Right? Keep yeah. going. Um, I remember that. I remember. Come on. I remember that body showing up. Yeah. And like I guess no one ever did anything about it. Yeah, but now here it is. Hey. That's so it. here, come on. Yeah. Look here. There he is, and now you recollect you had seen it. Yeah. And no one had done anything about it. Are you part of the people that didn't do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Where's your concern? What are you focusing on? On somebody else doing something about it now. What else are you focusing on? Give me the things you're focusing I'm on. I'm focusing on the memory I had of seeing no, that before. No, tell me. What are you looking at? What are you seeing? I'm seeing him throw the body onto the floor to trash it. And keep reading. Because this guy was like throwing it there as a way of cleaning up. But it was unclear to me if he was like cleaning up the area for the event. He was throwing that body out there as a way of getting ready for the party. Hey, would you agree? Come on, stay as if you're in the dream. Mm -hmm. You suddenly wake up. There was a kind of mean? a dirt area. What does that mean in the dream? You mean when I was shocked? Well, so then this guy throws him into the trash. 
He's going to, yeah. He throws yeah. it on the floor like... There's a tense yeah. issue there. Somebody's done something about it. And it's been, thrown, it's been thrown into the trash because this guy was like throwing it there. That's present. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it done or is it happening? Well, he throws it, just, he kind of just throws it over onto the floor, meaning they're going to take that out and put it in the trash. No, no, no. You're seeing his manner. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which is what? Indifferent. Right, right. How are you? I'm... I'm shocked. But you forgot it. But you forgot it in the dream. Well, you, you had a recollection. What does that mean? You must have thumbed up. Forgot. Well, I was indifferent to yeah, it before. Right. Yeah. When I had seen right. it. Right. I must have been indifferent. Right. Mm -hmm. I just woke yeah. up. Although it, yeah. it bothered me, but I felt like I couldn't do anything about it before. It's weird. Wow. See, your original scene is good, isn't it? Your scene. Yeah. You even saw where the body was. You had worked, you saw the flowers, you saw the hole of the ground. You saw it all. Yeah. But you became indifferent to it and forgot it. Right. He woke you up to what it was. Mm-hmm. And now he's indifferent, and I'm indifferent to his indifference. That's right. How's that Except, like the first thing? Going after the crumbs. <coughs> well, I'm indifferent to what I'm there for, I'm indifferent to my goal, mm -hmm. and trying mm -hmm. to get something going as a freeloader on their leftovers or yeah. their style of dress or... Yeah. And you don't even find out what they're, what they're doing? No. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's just beginning or if it's now over. Yeah, but you're paying attention to what's on the table. And doing? I feel like I can't inquire about anything because I'm not even part of the party. Thank you. That's a state of mind. Put it in words. I can't even inquire about anything. Come on. What's mm -hmm. that like? Come on. Um, <laughs> what's it like? It's like a lot of my life. That's right. You got it, kid. Mm. There it is. Because I'm hanging around people who I don't even identify with in terms of their goals or anything. That's right. And I get invited here and there and it's like, why would I go there? But I do every once in a while and it's like I feel so weird because my, my heart's not there. It's, Thank you. It's not me at all. Where does it come from? Well, it's like, you know, the big really tripped my rich aunt's house at Christmas time and we would all sit there and sing Christmas carols and my parents would sit around and talk with these people and we had no emotional we were just there to get the leftovers right we were there yeah, to get are. the gifts the <laughs> handouts yeah got it and um you're living like them yeah and we'd dress up for the occasion and and it was bizarre. Yeah. yeah. That's how I'm still living. Yeah. 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 That's what the dream was saying. Is in a time to get rid of the crumbs. Right. And that's how Mr. T lives too. He loves to get no, those. See, what's different in this dream is not a put down. Right. Because you know everything that's going on mm. to the details. It's not that you're dumb. Mm. Yeah. You're not using what you know and what you see. Mm. It's not a put down dream. Right. I mean so right now I'm in the I'm at the edge of transitioning because like, you know Tony who I live with, you know, goes to a lot of events and he's bringing home a lot of leftovers, right? From these parties and it's like that's not my <coughs> style of eating. That's 
that's what I want to be eating. But it's so easy because, you know, he brings it home. It's like, hey, it's ready. I don't have to cook. I don't have to shop. So, but it's like, it's got to stop because it's just, it's not me. So I'm right at that point where, I mean, I told him yesterday, look, this has got to, I got to stop this. So it's probably why I'm having the dream because I'm right at that point. Yes, and the important thing is that you know everything that's going on, yeah. just as you just said. Yeah, yeah. But now what are you going to do about it? <laughs> and the tin <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, okay. What am I going to do about it? Good question. Oh my gosh. So, in terms of the drama, what did I do? I went to when she was seeing. Right? And the fact that she ignored what she knows. Uh, yeah, the horse. Uh, the body. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then applied that, uh, the understanding of that, to yeah. the first scene. Right, right, right. Well, what about this third? What, what, what about how the, the dream closes? Well, Is it just more of the same? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. See the word maybe? What does that do? Maybe Tony was talking to the horse. Where was it? Where was the maybe? Yeah, was maybe. maybe Tony was talking to the horse or something. Like maybe, maybe we had come for the horses. Maybe we hadn't. You're yeah, right. No decision. Yeah. Did you want to be there? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're. And then she's giving R some advice. Even Caution. <laughs> hey, there's an see, event going on. There's a problem in the last train, see, which I ignore, because of the depth, of, the possible depth of it. <clears throat> so let's push it. Okay. Say, so, um, I understand yeah, Tony was there in the dream, is that right? Which? Tony was there in the dream of the last part? Yeah. Yeah, what was he doing? Oh, he's just being quiet. He's just hanging around with me. Come, They're not in the dream. Are uh, you talking about the second to the last I'm paragraph? I'm talking the last paragraph that the last Egmont brought up. Oh, well, maybe he's, you know, I can't really see his body in the dream. He's just kind of. I'm in the dream. You're not. Okay. There was a white horse there. Maybe, what's, he, what's he doing? Maybe T and I had come on horses. But not in the train. There were a couple of horses. Yeah. And Tony was, maybe Tony was talking to the horses. What does that mean? Well, Tony likes horses. What does it mean? It means it's kind of fantastic. Right. Here's a person who you know, and he's talking to horses. Wouldn't you agree that happens all the time? Prince Charming came on the white horse. Would that be somebody you'd be talking to? What happened? That I'd be talking to? Look here. Get in the drink. Uh-huh. Uh, what did you see when you saw Tony was talking to the horses? How did the horses behave in the dream? They were just quiet. Thank you. I have to know more. If they were quiet, in what state of mind were they in? Attentive, bored, what? Listen. No, they were calm. Huh? They were calm. I'm glad to hear they were calm. Did you answer calm. the question they were of calm. the kind of state of mind he was in? No. Cal she said calm. Calm? Calm. calm. They're Thank calm. You. So what? What did that suggest to you that if they were calm while he is talking to them? Well, like he could get on one and ride it with no problem. What did it suggest? <coughs> what so did you're it taking suggest? off on this. Stay with the words. If he's doing that, what do you think of the person who's doing that? The horses are calm, listening. Mm -hmm. Does it look like he's getting through? 
or not. It's up to you. It's your dream. Getting through to the horses? <laughs> yeah. Say it again, please. What? He's getting through to the horses. Do you find that a curious thing, that somebody's getting through to horses talking to them? <laughs> no. Thank you. Rare? Unusual? Horse people are like that. Do they talk to them and the horses are that attentive? Yeah. Then it's normal. See, I'm fishing to try to find out the significance of something. I'm having a difficulty, right? That's normal, I expect it. But on the other hand, I know that if literally this is being true, it's very profound. So I'm backing away from it, pushing her to see if I can get her to tell me more about it so I can find out what is the depth of this dream. She keeps going off and telling me things that haven't got a damn thing to do with the dream. Right? So I know that. So watch. Hey, um, think it got through to the horses in the dream? I mean, think, consider the dream again. Well, he and I don't talk in the dream. So he talks to the horse. Would you mind staying with the question, please? Did he get through to the horses? In the dream, did it appear that in any way that he was getting through, they were calm, they were quiet, yeah. They were attentive? Yeah. Oh, you got a guy who knows how to talk to horses. Yeah. What was he saying? What do you think he might have been saying in the dream? Probably saying something like, can I ride you for a little while? See, this is why you don't want to go what a person thinks they might have said. In the dream, you have to stay in the dream. Because otherwise, to the degree to which it's profound, that was going on, you're ignoring it, just like you're ignoring it right now. And the other parts. It's continuing the same theme. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing the whole dream. Yeah. She's ignoring something going on that may be very profound. Running right into the state of mind. Right up. And and what about this maybe? Maybe yeah. Tony was talking to the That's horse or something. She, she, was it a... See, so you have to fish. So that's what I was doing. So I'm dealing with the maybe. Now that's why I didn't go into it. <laughs> because I know it would have this kind of difficulty. Hmm. And the maybe is mentioned twice in that sentence. It's a very important word you picked on. Maybe he was coming horses. Maybe he was talking to horses, yeah. But that means that the dreamer has to be sensitive enough to their dream to be able to get back to the dream and talk about it in terms of the dream. And a lot of times people can't do that. So, there you go. Yeah, I waited a long time to to trans to to transcribe. No, to record it. Because mm. oh, I was just in it for like four hours. Just I was just amazed at how lavish everything was. I just was like caught up in that. And you with all the lavishness you're after crumbs. Mm. And you right. very beautifully said, hey, that's what my family does. They're after crumbs. Right. So you made a very nice connection. Hmm. Right. See, the image of lavishness goes on with the horses. Hmm. Right. Right? Yeah. And therefore, there might be a mystery there worth unplugging, but I'm not going to get it. Well, especially if Tony is like, hey, can we ride you white horses? And now Tony's going to hop on the right white horse. And maybe we had come on them. So. I, I just, hey, Joe. Uh-huh. Uh, what did Josh say? I forgot. 
He said that um, he said that it was the hor the lavish just continued with the horses. No. What did you say? Wait, wait, please. Um, what do you think of the fact that he said something important? You dismissed it. <coughs> uh, it's something I do sometimes, especially with Tony. Okay, so get Ross to tell you again and, and tell us whether you think that's important, the issue that he raises. Go ahead. I was just continuing the idea of the lavishness and that the white horses are there and maybe he's he's talking to them and asking them if he could ride them. And maybe he's going to get on and ride it. Hello there. What about your participation at that Hello. point? Also, I thought you kind of Hello. drew the picture of Tony on the white horse riding the white horse. Right? Yeah. That there's kind of a... Right. Ennoblement or something. You didn't use a well, particular word. So it would be, s there would be that separateness. If well, what do you think of what the, the remark you made? Well, there is a sense of lavishness with the horse, but and he said maybe Tony would get on the horse and ride it, but you missed the point you made. But I would be distant from that. That's the point you made. Okay. But. Well, one that he was speaking to it and asking, like, could we ride it? And then he's going to ask the horse to get on and ride it. And what about? That's like an invitation. Pardon me. Did you not bring up the point that it's a white horse? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's black. Hmm. He's got a right. He has his own history in the Japan. Right, and he's going to be riding a white horse. He's raising that point. Mm. Right? Is that worth noting in the dream that it's a white horse? Well, it was very elegant. And oh, lavish. Oh, it would mm. be very lavish. It See what lavish. we're getting from mm. your question? Mm. Yeah. Lavish. Yeah. Elegant. The more it's pushing it up to, again, mm. she's ignoring it. But I'm, I ignored that yeah. in the dream. I was like walking to the parking lot and he's over looking at the white horse and I'm going like, I'm thinking, oh God. There it is. Hmm. Oh God. <laughs> what <laughs> that one is. <laughs> oh God, another white horse. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All it is is challenging your way of being from the family that you happen to have had as good teachers. Right. It ain't a put down. Right. right. That, uh, oh God, uh, attitude seems to be important. That's right. Yeah, it's dismissive. Yeah. Well, the whole thing, throughout the whole dream, I, I'm feeling dismissed. Yeah. I'm walking through this, the whole thing. Yeah. I'm not a part of. Yeah. And what is that attitude or state of mind costing? Shit. Shit, yeah. <laughs> God, that is so interesting. What a contrast. Mm. Yeah, I have to stay quiet. Can't participate. It's, it's not true in the dream. It is not true in the dream. The dream is saying you are alert. You know what's going on. You, re you, you could recall where the body had been. You know the hole in the ground. You know it was with, with the flowers. You know all of this stuff. Yeah. You're indifferent to what you know. But I don't say anything to That's anyone. Right. But see, so it's not, not just being indifferent. It's to your own experience, which mm. is rich. See, which is rich. Right.
but um, it's very rich. Now it's very lavish. Not, now you got to deal with it being there rather than coming around. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Pierre. Okay. Wow. No oh, thanks. Does this help any what we're doing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. And to answer your question about politics. Mm. It's the why did why did our friend Moore, Michael Moore, know that Trump was going to win by only studying three states. Mm. And what were the three states he studied? Mm. I didn't know. Was it Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin? They were rural states. Oh. He knew the state of mind of rural America. Mm. And they are not dumb, they're not racist, that's all bullshit. Mm. He saw them as, he, he appreciated their state of mind. He said, hey, you know what, they're right. They feel left out. Their leaders ignore them. Washington ignores them. There are people who feel that they suffer because everything that's going on is ignoring them. Yeah. They're putting people on I can't identify with. That woman I can't identify with. Mm. Him I can identify, at least he's telling me that what's going on in my life is true. They'll ignore everything else he's doing. They finally yeah. found someone they can identify with. That's wow. what Michael Moore saw. Because he went there and he spoke to those people, he knows those people, and he can represent those people in his clothing and yeah. his manner. Yeah. Right? He appears as a worker. Mm -hmm. They can identify with him. Could, yeah. They could talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, even with, them. even with the dorky hat, right? Yeah. <laughs> they love that. Hey. Yeah. Hey. He's one of them. Hey, they're human beings. They have a real bitch against the system. That's right. They want government to close down, not because they fear big government. They happen to be receiving the most benefits of any people. They don't give a damn about that. They're being ignored. They, no one identifies with them. No one is their spokesman. They feel left out. They, hardly they feel insulted by the, by the elite. They're mm -hmm. pissed off because of that. Yeah. They're not racist because they're racist. Right. Mm. Yeah. And, you know. And, and the, biggest, the biggest problem is Obama. Mm. Because they hoped to turn into an FDR and he backed off. Mm. Right. Therefore, he didn't identify with their needs. Right. They have two or three jobs to make out. Mm -hmm. They can't get ahead. The American dream isn't working for them as a whole, as a class. Yeah. All he, did, all he had to do was know where are the most sensitive states. Those are the, hey, the Midwest is the same. <laughs>